Aren't those mountains gorgeous? Hi everyone. So I am at the doctor's office. I know you're shocked, right? Well, after talking to several people, they all stated that um, this virus crap crud, whatever it is, um, has turned into pneumonia for a lot of them. So I want to kick it before it gets to that part. Um, it started on Thursday. Um, I felt something funky in my throat, but I didn't think too much of it. Uh, quickly afterwards, I started taking Zycam. Friday, my left side of my throat was really raw. Um, Saturday, I, I felt much better, but I still felt like there's something there. Continue taking the Zycam. On Sunday, I woke up and I felt it in my chest and I thought, mm, we might have an issue here. And of course, today is Monday and I woke up and uh, it's completely in the chest. Um, it's in my ears and it's nasal. So, and this apparently is a really bad string of viruses um, going on. It's uh, very hard to get rid of. You need really powerful stuff and uh, hopefully I can get rid of it really quick. Unfortunately, I did have to cancel my three uh, travel dates this week. Um, I did have to cancel my Dallas, which I was gonna go on Tuesday. I was going to Kansas on <coughs> sorry um, on Thursday and then um, Friday and Saturday I was going to be in Atlanta so yeah those are canceled I better get in there I'm almost late but I'm not late I still have one minute bye I'm waiting. My doctor's actually really good. He's the nurse just left, and I've only been in here for like 30 seconds. And the nurse came in, and I'm gonna say probably two minutes, and the doctor will be in. Evil. Every female knows what that is. It's watching me. So word is uh, that it's a really bad virus and um, I'm getting antibiotics and something for my cough and something for my ears and hopefully that will work I'm almost out of here we'll talk later or in a minute just chill I am thoroughly frustrated right now uh, my appointment was at 3 uh, Patricia brought me back around 3.05, 3.08. Dr. Allen was back promptly at around, promptly at around, yeah, if that makes sense, right? At approximately 3.15, so it was pretty quick. He asked me what was the matter, I told him, all was well. He listened to me breathe, listened to my heart, goes out and hands me cough medicine, a prescription with codeine. I'm like, um, don't we want to, uh, get some antibiotics in me? Because, you know, this really is a string that's going on around work. And because they didn't take care of it, they're into pneumonias. And I don't want to get into pneumonia. Oh, well, see, you haven't had it for seven days. Okay. And he says, well, once you have it for seven days, I'll give you a, a medication. What? Yeah. I wasn't talking morphine. I wasn't talking Laura Tabs or Percocets or anything else. I was talking about Keflar, uh, Keflex, antibiotic. Hello? I can take that shit when I'm well and it won't do anything to me. I, I was just baffled. Really? What? What sense does that make? You know, it, it's... It's pretty frustrating when you have a doctor that looks like Doogie Hauser <coughs> that doesn't care. Hey, I know. Why don't you come back in, in three days is what he said. Give me more money and I'll give you a prescription. He didn't say that part. He might as well have. I'm just like, what? 
What sense does that make? Ugh. <coughs> so now I'm going to Walmart to get my prescription filled. Cough medicine. I told him, I'm like, I can't take that cough medicine because I can't take cough medicine that is like major <coughs> because it makes me vomit. The hardest thing I could take is a Delcium. Well, go ahead and try it. And if it makes you throw up, call back and I'll get you another prescription. Yeah, I want to waste my money on shit. Thanks. I'm heading over to go get the pharmacy. For the record, I am not picking up that cough medicine. I'm not going to vomit. I'm not. Stupid doctor. Just got done with Walmart and I'm heading home. It's 6.15. And for the record, Yes. Yes, I am still frustrated. Let's try round two. I get home, reach in my pocket, there's a bottle, or there's a prescription that I haven't refilled. I go up to Smith's thinking that would be very quick. They wanted to charge me $297 for something that's going to be Four dollars at Walmart. Gotta love it. Ding, ding, ding. Round three. Yeah, I'm not joking, people. I brought in the prescription that I forgot about the first time around, so I brought it in the second time. Because I knew if I didn't bring it in today, I would forget about it. So I brought it in. How long will it be? About 45 minutes. No problem. I'll go waste my time during, in, in, you know, going and checking out Walmart. I've already done that already once today. Why not another one, right? So I go in. I walk around. I go look at a heart rate monitor, see what they are, see how much they are. <coughs> so I go look around. I find it. I find my orange juice. Picked it up. Yep. Got it right here. I go back up 45 minutes later and they say, oh, it's going to be another 45 minutes. I'm sorry. We're really behind. I said, okay. So I went and walked around another 45 minutes. By this time, I'm not mad. I'm just frustrated. Because if I would have done it right the first time, I wouldn't be dealing with this. So when I go back, after the second 45-minute round, they went, oh, there's a question on it. I go, what question's that? Well, you need to go to the drop-off. So I go over to the drop-off, and he explains to me, oh, your insurance denied this, and we need to talk to your doctor. Unfortunately, your doctor's office closed 20 minutes ago. What? Yeah, this prescription needs a preauthorization, so that's the reason why you need to. Um, we need to talk to a doctor, and unfortunately, they're closed, so you'll have to come back tomorrow. What insurance are you billing? Well, we're billing billing insurance A. Wrong. You're supposed to be billing insurance B. Oh, well, do you have any of that information? I says no, I don't. He says, oh, we'll see our insure, our uh, computers crashed. We lost all the information. So therefore, um, we're so sorry. We need that information. What? Yeah, we need to talk to your doctor or you need to give us the information again. Because we lost everything in our computers when it crashed last week. Oh. So I had to go back home bring insurance B's information back and now I'm here again with all the information for the third prescription that I should have gotten on the first try three hours ago stay tuned great news it only took three times to get my prescription. Yay. They billed all the right places and reimbursed all the right things. So now I'm heading home. I started this at 3.30, 3.45. It's 8.30. Yeah. A little long to take three prescriptions. 
And I didn't lose it on anybody. It's a good thing, huh? Bye.